Hi everyone, so I'm back with another journal with, uh, to share with you and this one is made using a digital kit from Shabby Dabby Doo and it is called Edwardian Supper <clears throat> um, and as you know I ended up with um, a ream of paper that was A5, uh, was it A5? Yeah, A5, so I've done a little journal um, so this has got two signatures um, and it, what does it measure? It measures six inches by four and a quarter. It has a one and a quarter inch spine, two signatures, 96 pages front and back. I've also used digitals from Artie Mays, My Porch Prints and uh, Tsunami Rose. So let me just sit on my chair because I moved it away and uh, trying to find something. <laughs> so I've got a set for this. Um, <clears throat> this will be listed in my shop if anyone's interested. So the cover is made using um, layers of cardstock, one of them being coffee dyed, and it's got some Tyvek um, to reinforce the spine. And we have this lovely wallpaper, it's just got a little tiny dot here, there and everywhere, but it's got sparkle to it as well. So on the front cover, I just made um, a topper, which is, it consists of, card, this is two layers of cardstock, which has been inked up and stenciled. Then I made a pocket, and then I used one of them little um, uh, coin pockets, envelopes, sorry, which is these. And I do have a little Let's Make on like how to decorate them, <clears throat> which you will find in my Let's Make um, playlist. So I've just decorated that using um, this image here, which is a, a freebie from Artie Mays. And you can find that on Artie Mays and Friends uh, on Facebook and artiemays.com. That's our website. So this little um, uh, definition card here which is a little tiny like book plate um is from my porch prints and then inside there we have a little tag and it says all good things are wild and free and it's got little butterflies on there and then this is uh this book belongs to and the tags have just been coffee dyed uh so we've got two pockets in the front actually there's three pockets because right behind the envelope um it is opened as well so but that slips into the actual pocket. Haven't put a closure on it because it kind of holds itself quite well. Um, so, quick glance at that and let's go inside. And let me make sure I am in frame and that I've got good lighting. See, I've got a shadow. I'm just going to move a light. <clears throat> um, since I have this new lamp, maybe that's a bit better. Yes, I think so. This new lamp that I've got is, I think it's causing shadows. So I've got a ring light and a lamp. <laughs> it's a nightmare trying to get some decent lighting in here. Um, so this is one of the pages. And like I said, I've printed this out on um, A5 um, photo paper, but it is a normal size journal. It's on like A4 sheets. So I've used some of the pages and I've made a little pocket. And then again, I've put one of these um, definition book plate things. And that says family. I've got a little flower there and a little piece of bling in the middle. And we have a selection of ephemera. I think that's from the old design shop. Uh, this is from My Porch Prints and that is called, I can't remember, Rose Garden, the Rose Garden collection. That is from Artie Mays, I believe. That's a freebie. And then these are from uh, my porch prints as well and they've all been backed onto like a it's not a coffee dyed paper it's a, it's actually one of the pages from the um, nature's remedies and it's just a nice kind of subtle background that you can still write on and it's you know you can st you'd still be able to see your writing so the pages are coffee dyed i've got, got some good markings on them and i actually done them this morning on uh in the oven another page from that kit which is, again it's called edwardian supper again i used some of the pages and cut cut it up and made pockets here we just have um an old piece of ephemera which is just trifolded and then a postcard which is Artie Mays and that's a freebie and this is from my porch prints so that all goes in there this is Tsunami Rose and I can't remember what kit that's from but I know that's from Tsunami Rose this is the old design shop 
some digital music paper, some edge punching. We have some more coffee dyed paper, another page from the kit. I love that clock, it's so, um, so cute. And then here I just done some more of the um, altered coin envelopes. <clears throat> I've got a tag inside there, coffee dyed, and it's just stamped with a butterfly. And then here's just some sari ribbon, and then there is, because this is so dinky, there's some pearl trim on there as well. And that's the freebie from Artie Maze. And postcard is from Artie Maze. And I, don't, I can't remember who that's from now. So that goes there. Lots of journaling pages. Here I've just made, um, it's again a double pocket, uh, just made the pocket myself, the back pocket and then this is one of the little coin envelopes, more of the sari ribbon and the pearl trim and then inside there we have another tag with a butterfly and then in the back there it says little moments, big memories and it's opened at the back but that's, that slips into the pocket. So if you don't have little, because a lot of people buy glassine um, envelopes and pockets and uh, things like that, bags. If you don't have that, you can use um, like a tracing paper or if you've got some grease proof paper, you can make them yourself. They're so easy. Another page from the kit. Some more edge punching. Lots of little journal space there. Again, I've used some of the pages to I cut it up and made it into pockets. We've got a little punched flower here with some bling. And then um, this is from my porch prints and it's the um, definition of creative. Here we just have uh, some ephemera. It's from Tsunami Rose. This is from Tsunami Rose as well. And this is Artie Maze. That's a freebie. Another page from that kit. We've got a top tuck here and an, another one of these definition um, tags or book plates. I don't know what they're called actually. <laughs> they're just like little rectangulars with um, some of them got florals on them, some of them haven't. And this is obviously um, Imagine. And then we have a vintage letter, which is a printable. That goes in there. Another freebie from Artie Mays and again that's been backed so on to the second signature and obviously we've got the crocheted trim as well I've just literally put that on um I'm gonna I don't know where it is now hmm, what have I done with it um I mentioned this when I done a let's make the other day and I used it because it says it's good for fabrics papers um even wood and all sorts of stuff and it's water based so it's not I was thinking no solvents free of solvents um oh yeah it's good for um cardboard paper wood felt fabric polystyrene etc right it's useless it's useless with fabric um so if you're thinking of buying it don't <laughs> i would not recommend it at all um, i haven't tried it on paper yet um but it wasn't any good for the fabrics which was disappointing it wasn't expensive thankfully um and the reason i tried that was because i was looking for an alternative to fabri-tac or like the beacon, beacon three in one because it really it's so strong and it, it gives me headaches um even in a, ve a well ventilated um room uh, but that's no good either so I'll just stick to my tacky glue so we've got a pocket there with some things I've just shown you whilst I was ranting away there some more crocheted trim another page from that kit another corner pocket that's from Artie Maze and that is another vintage letter in there one of these little definition um book plate things it says friend little flower and some bling another page from that kit here we've got another altered um coin envelope some more of the sari uh, ribbon down here and some of the um pearl, pearl string um a postcard that is from that's from Artie Maze. that's from my porch prints and that is a little tag. 
see if we can do that a little bit better. There we go. Journal pages. Another one of those pocket double pockets using, um, I just used some uh, printable paper there and the coin envelope. Got a tag in there. Tag in there. Make each day a story worth telling. It's opened at the back and that goes in there. And that goes in there. It, that's, yep, that's opened at the back. So really you've got four tucks on that. Or four slots to put something in. Another pocket here, a definition of love, another little double flower, which is a flower punch, and journal card, some ephemera. Obviously these are shrunk down to fit into this journal. They are everything everything that I've used has been shrunk down, so you know you can you can have it all sizes if you want to just shrink things down on your PDFs or uh, some more crochet to trim. I'm sure there's two pages there. Yep. Little bit of glue there because it's still drying. <clears throat> little pocket. It says abide. Definition of abide. Little tiny flower. Some bling. Here we just have some small pieces of ephemera. That's from Artie Mays. I think that's from My Porch Prince. So is that. And then this is from the old design shop. And it's specimens of handwriting. Again, that's that would be full size, but it's all been shrunk down. So, um, like I said, this was using um, Edwardian Supper by Shabby Dabby Duda and using other digitals from Artie Mays, Tsunami Rose and My Porch Prince. And obviously um, uh, the old design shop. So this will be listed in my shop if you're interested in that. Um, I think I've got a few other items in there too. If you have any questions about the journal, then feel free to ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.